If you're using pivot tables in Excel 2010, slicers are a great new feature that let you filter the data. If you're bringing in files that were created in Excel 2003, you might have some problems getting started. So we'll see how they're inserted and the problems you might run into and how to fix those. This file was created in Excel 2003, but I've updated it so it's ready for me to add slicers. If I go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, click a cell in the pivot table, and then I can see the slicer. I'll click that and it shows all the fields from this pivot table. So I could select one or more of these. I've got region and rep in the report filter area. So I'm going to add those as slicers. I'll check both of those and click OK. And there are the slicers and you can move them around a bit so they fit better. One advantage of slicers is that they're dependent unlike the report filters. So for region, if I select Alberta, and click OK. When I look at the reps, it shows all the reps, even if they're not in Alberta. But now looking at the slicers, Alberta is highlighted here because it's connected to this pivot table and it highlights all the reps who are in Alberta. If I click Ontario, it shows the Ontario and Quebec. Unlike here, I can still see all the reps. So slicers are a great tool making it easier to work with big pivot tables. So that's how they work once your files are set up to be ready for slicers. I'm gonna look at another file that was created in Excel 2003, but hasn't been set up for slicers yet. So here's a file, the same data. And if I look up in the title bar, I can see the file name. It's still XLS format and it says compatibility mode. When I try to insert a slicer here, select a cell, go to insert and the slicer isn't available. To make slicers work in this file, I'm going to have to convert it to the newer file format. And to do that, you go to the file menu and choose save as and from the save as type, select Excel workbook or one of the macro enabled formats if the workbook has macros. So I'll choose XLSX. And when I save it, it's now showing that new file format but it still says compatibility mode. I'm going to have to close this file and reopen it because right now the slicer is still dim. I can't use it. I closed the file and reopened it and now that compatibility mode is gone. When I select a cell in the pivot table and look at the insert tab, I'm now able to insert a slicer. So to use slicers in older workbooks, convert them to the new format and then close and reopen them and it should work. Occasionally though, I've had problems with a file where even after converting and closing and reopening, I couldn't insert slicers. So for this file, it was created in Excel 2003, but you can see that it's now been saved as XLSX format. There's nothing saying compatibility mode up here, but when I go to the insert tab, click in the pivot table, the slicer is still not available. And to fix this problem, I saved the file back to XLS, the old style format. I went to File, Save As, and for Save As Type, select the old 97 to 2003 format, then click Save. You'll see some warnings in the compatibility checker. I told it to continue, and there's the old format back. And I'm going to close this and reopen it. When I opened the problem file, I got a warning from Excel saying that it found unreadable content. Do you want to recover the content? I clicked yes, and it reported that there was a problem in that pivot table, and it had made repairs. Click close, and then enable the content. So this pivot table has been repaired. There must have been something minor wrong with it because it didn't remove the pivot table. It's now saying repaired compatibility. So now I'm going to save it back into the new format. I'll file, save as, the Excel workbook, and I'll just change the name slightly. And now it's showing repaired compatibility mode. Close it, reopen it. I'll enable the content. It doesn't say compatibility mode anymore. It's XLSX. I've selected a cell in the pivot table and on the insert tab, the slicer is now available. So you shouldn't run into that problem too often, but if you hit a stubborn pivot table where you can't add slicers, try saving it back to the previous version and then save it as the newer version and it might repair an issue with the pivot table. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.